All right, we're going to take a look at the Golang documentation. If you're ever wondering what a function does, you're not going to get any more accurate information than by going straight to the source. So go ahead and head on over to golang.org and click on the packages link. Now this will bring up a list of four Golang packages. Some of these packages even have packages inside of them. And the package we are looking for is the Fumped package. Go ahead and click on that package. And you'll see we have an overview, an index, and examples. Overview is what you would expect it to be. It's an explanation of what that package does. And the index is a list of functions this package has to offer. So we're going to look for the print line function. And once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And this will give us an explanation of what that function does, as well as a function signature. And this will tell us what it's expecting and what it's going to return. Inside the first set of parentheses, this is going to tell us what parameters it's expecting. And it's expecting of data type interface. And in front of that, we have three dots. This is telling us this is a variadic function. This means it's going to take a varied amount of different things. So we could pass it you know, one thing, we could pass it five, or we could pass it ten. Now behind the, oh, in the uh, second set of parentheses, this is going to tell us our return values. Here we can see it's going to return an int, and it's going to return an error. So to see this run, go ahead and click the example and just click run. And as we can see, it prints out Kim is 22 years old. So up here, inside the Fump package, which it's Im importing right here, it's going to use the print line function. And like we said, it's a variadic function, so it's taking one, two, three, four different things. So it's taking a name, or a constant, name, name. It's taking a string with the word is. It's taking another variable, named age, and it is taking another string with years old. So it puts all that together and it prints it out here at the bottom as Kim is 22 years old. Now one of the great things about, about these examples is you can actually change the code and it will run. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go, friends, hello world. And you are not limited just to the package that you're exploring. If you wanted to bring in another package, you could do that and run functions from that package. Now, there will be a few limitations, being you are using you know, golang.org's resources. You're not able to run, say, a web server in here, but most core packages should run. Now, reading the Golang document or reading documentation is just an important skill for all programmers. And let's say, for instance, you post on an answer, you know, a question answer site like, you know, StackOverflow.com. Uh, there's a general expectation that you should give the documentation a quick look before posting to the site. And if you don't, it's possible you may get a less than friendly suggestion to do so. All right, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.